In the previous videos, we have taken an in-depth look at both the green sponsor marker and the blue business marker. If you are a first time viewer, I recommend watching episode one before proceeding in order to understand the basic concepts of the spare cash system. In this video, I will offer a deeper understanding of the purple hunt marker. To date, this is our most advanced marker system. Suited to larger venues like shopping malls, theme parks, casinos, and hotels, the Purple Marker can offer in-store deals at more than one shop or event venue inside your facility. Whether you wish to create an all-out scavenger hunt, entertain guests, or keep the kids occupied while the parents explore your facility, the Purple Marker can do all that and more. You might be wondering why you don't just use a blue marker for each location. It is a fair question, as the purple and blue markers are very closely related. The simple answer is that the spare cash system is designed so users need to be within 50 meters of a marker to collect it. In large facilities, like a shopping mall, this doesn't work well because the marker is located outside the building near an entrance, so it is unlikely the sponsoring store is within 50 meters of the marker. The purple marker can be placed at each entrance of the shopping mall. And once the user reaches any of the marker locations, they will see a button labeled Start Hunt under the promotional message. Remember back in the blue marker scenario, it prompts the cacher to look for the tracker image when they tap Scan Inside. One significant difference with a purple marker occurs when the cacher taps on Start Hunt. Depending on the venue and number of participating businesses, the user will be shown multiple tracker images on their phone's display. These are the trackers that are scattered around the facility and each one corresponds to one of the sponsoring businesses. The cacher can tap on each image for a clue to help them locate each reward. The clues can be elusive or more direct, depending on how each business wants to craft their promo. Don't worry if you're still confused. I'll show you an example later on in the video. Although the purple marker adds some unique uses, the standard benefits of spare cash still apply. These markers can still be seen by cachers 50 kilometers away and closer. All in-range cachers can also see the promotional message when they tap on one of the markers, which helps motivate them to get to your facility and see what offers they can find. Let's build a Purple Hunt marker campaign. Log into your account at www.sparecashapp.com. Remember to click on the businesses enter here. Then under business members, Click Login and use the credentials you signed up with. Hover above Your Campaigns. Then click Manage Indoor Hunts. Click Create an Indoor Hunt on the following page. Next you'll type in your location and use the map to drag the marker pointer to a more precise location. In my example, I am using a shopping mall in my city. And in the interest of time, I'm going to pretend that three retailers in this mall are offering spare cash, although many more could participate. I have placed the initial marker at the main front entrance to the mall. Then I click on Save and go to Next Step. Next, type in your marker label. It can be 12 characters. I am simply calling this Shopping Mall, but in reality, I would put the real name of the shopping center in here. Secondly, I can link to an image if desired to give more brand reassurance. Now I can customize my message. In this case, it is for a number of retailers in the mall, so I need to attract the cashers to the mall first, and not the individual stores. Before moving on, the number of images the cashier can collect per day must be chosen. I can limit each cashier to collect from only one of the three retailers per day by setting this to one or I can set it to three to let them visit all three businesses and collect on the same day. I will set this to three for my example. Now I will choose which tracker image to use for the first of my three businesses. Keep track of this because each respective retailer will need to have the same image on hand to make available to cashers when they come to collect. Below the image you chose is where you'll type the hint. I am going to make mine an easy riddle, which reads, you might say you need to be a genius to find this reward. In case you don't know, that is what Apple calls its help and support staff in the Apple Store. 
this clue should help most people easily find the reward. So, click on save and go to next step. Upload your own custom image or choose one of the preloaded images to be displayed on the collection message to the cacher. When done, click save and go to next step. Create your collection message to the cacher. This can be a simple thank you, enjoy the spare cash kind of thing, or it can try to offer them something more for a purchase. I'm going to offer the cashers a $10 iTunes card on any purchase of $100 or more. This page allows you to set up how much the value the cashier will collect is and how many total cashers can collect this before it expires. Since this retailer is offering an iTunes card with purchase, they have decided to leave the default marker value of $1 as it is. Other retailers may choose to offer a higher marker value, but not have an in-store offer. It is entirely up to each retailer how they choose to promote it, but I've always liked the method of cash back or free merchandise with a purchase, as it promotes the business more. When ready, either click done or, if you have more retailers like in my example, click save and add another. To keep the video shorter, I will not set up additional retailers. But remember, the process is the same as we just completed. Remember though, the tracker image needs to be different at each different business. In the end, I will have three tracker images for my three participating businesses. Now let's look at how a cacher would see this. Let's assume the cacher saw the marker from further away and was intrigued. Now they are standing outside the shopping mall at the location of my marker. They have tapped the marker and now they see the start hunt button. After they tap that, they are shown the three tracker images corresponding to the three businesses inside the mall who are participating in this example. The cacher taps on the first image and gets the clue. They might pick up on it right away or they might open Google to search genius since that was my main keyword in the riddle. Either way, it should lead them pretty quickly to the Apple store where they'll find a staff member who can show the cacher the tracker image. Ideally, the cashier sees the offer in the collection message and decides that they really do want that new iPhone. So they leave with $1 in spare cash, a new iPhone, and a $10 iTunes card they got for free for spending $100 or more. The cashier can now click on the other two images to see their clues and try to find out where they're hidden. Now if the campaign was set up to allow three collects per day, like in my example, the cashier can collect at other businesses today without any issue. If the campaign was set to allow only one image collect per day, the cashier will get a message when they try to collect again that they've used up their collects for that day. They'll have to come back another time. I'm sure by now you have no doubts of the incredible power this app brings with the ability to steer people into your business and turn them into patrons. I hope this video has given you a much better understanding about how the Purple Hunt Marker works and got your mind thinking about how you can use this in your scope of business. In the next video, we will dive into the White Marker, which is used for tournaments, gifts, and comps. We look forward to seeing you as a spare cash client very soon.